What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next question, still dealing with quadratic equations. So a picture measures 24 centimeters by 18 centimeters. A frame of uniform width is to be put around it. We have to find the uniform width in two different scenarios. So if the total area is 720 centimeters squared, meaning the area of the picture and the frame around it, or in part B, if the area of the frame is 135 centimeters squared. So let's start off with a diagram here. So if we have a picture like this, so this is what, 24 by 18 centimeters, like that. And then what's happening is we're putting a frame around it that has a uniform width, meaning that the width all around is going to be the same throughout. And what I'm actually going to do is let x equal the width of the frame. That's actually what we're going to be solving for in each of these scenarios. So let's put a variable there. So this here is x, 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 and x like that. Now, what we can do here is we can create a few different expressions. So notice that we can create an expression for the total area. And so the total area, what it's going to be, it's going to be the length times the width. Now notice that the length of the picture is 24 centimeters. Well, if we add x here and then add x over here, we'd end up with the total length of the picture and the frame as well. And how many x's are we adding? We're adding 2 to the 24. So this total length over here would be 24 plus 2x like that. And then same thing for the width. We know that this here is 18. Well, if we add an x and we add an x, we'd end up with this total width, which would be 18 plus 2x like that. So that's the first step of the question coming up with an expression for the total length and the total width. And so from here, actually, for part A, really easy to solve. All we do, well, the length times the width is going to be the total area. And we're told that the total area is 720 centimeters squared. So what we can do is we can go, okay, length times the width is going to equal 720, like that. And so here, all we have to do is expand everything, bring it to one side, and then solve for x. So if we expand 24 times 18 would give us 432. 24 times 2x would give us 48x. This here would be 36x. And this here would be 4x squared. That's going to be 720. And then notice that let's put all of this in a nice order. So the 4x squared I'll put at the front. 48x plus 36x would give us what? 84x. And then when we bring the 720 over, 432 minus 720 would give us minus 288 like that, and that's gonna equal zero. And so from here, different ways you can solve this. This is a quadratic equation, so if you want, you could throw it in the quadratic formula. Let's see if this will factor. You could also try to factor it. Things won't always factor, but sometimes they will. From everything, we could take out a four, so we'd have x squared plus 21x minus uh, 288 divided by four would give us 72, like that. That's going to equal zero. And then from here, this would factor into x plus 24, x minus 3, like that. Okay, again, sometimes this won't factor smoothly. Then you'll have to use the quadratic formula. And you can use the quadratic formula from here if you want, or from here, you're going to get the same solution. So basically, either x plus 24 has to equal zero, or x minus 3 has to equal zero. Well, notice that. An x value of negative 24, we would just ignore that. That wouldn't make sense, okay? Because remember, x is the width of the frame, and that can't be negative. So here, x would end up equaling 3, like that. So that's the answer to part A, right? So if the total area is 720 centimeters squared, 
it means that the uniform width is uh, three centimeters of the frame. Then you could check it. So if we plug in three over here, two times three would give us six, this would be 30. And then two times three would give us six, plus 18 would give us 24. And then 30 times 24 does indeed give us that total area of 720 centimeters squared. Okay, so that's how you do part A like that. Actually, let me keep this written because we're still gonna be using these measurements. Okay, so that's how you do it if you're dealing with a total area. Now in part B, it's a little bit different because now we're dealing with the area of the frame. Okay, we're not dealing with the total area. What they're saying is that this area over here of the frame, if we shade it all in, is going to equal 135 centimeters squared. Question is, how can we create an expression for the area of the frame? Well, if you think about it, what we could do is we could take the total area right here, which is the frame plus the picture, and then if we subtract the area of the picture like this, then we would end up with the area of the frame. And so we can create an equation here so we can go frame area is gonna be what? It's gonna be the total area minus the uh, picture area like that right it's going to be the total area minus the picture area and that's going to give us the frame area well the frame area we're told is 135 centimeters squared the total area we know is 24 plus 2x times 18 plus 2x, so 24 plus 2x times 18 plus 2x. And then the picture area is what? 18 times 24. So we would subtract that. Okay, so one more time, we create an expression here for the frame area, which is what is shaded, and that's equal to the total area minus the picture area. So the remaining area would be that frame area. Well, we know the frame area is 135. We know the total area is this, and then the picture area is just that length times width, 18 times 24. Okay, and so from here, we can now solve this equation. So same thing, we would expand everything here. And when we do, we'd end up with, well, 432 plus uh, 36x plus 48x, Again, that gave us 84x, then we had the 4x squared, and then minus 18 times 24 would give us 432, and then we got the 135, like that. And then these cancel out. Let's bring the 135 over, so we'll have zero equals 4x squared plus 84x minus 135. And so from here, notice that we just have a quadratic equation to solve. And so again, different ways you could solve this, you could do it with factoring like we did in part A, you could also throw it in the quadratic formula. I think this will factor smoothly, but just to switch it up, let's throw this into the quadratic formula. Now the quadratic formula, let's actually erase this, we don't need it anymore. We know that the formula for it is what, negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's see what solutions we get here. So we'll have negative 84 plus or minus 84 squared minus 4 times the a value of 4 times the c value of negative 135. That's going to be all over 2 times the a value of 4. And when you do the algebra for this, you'd end up with this under the square root, so 9216 after you add these here. The square root of that is going to be a smooth number, 96. And so you would end up with two solutions, negative 84 plus 96 divided by 8 would give you 1.5. Negative 84 minus 96 divided by 8 would give you negative 22.5. Again, the negative value, we're just going to ignore that. And so the final answer ends up being 1.5 for this question. So for part B, the uniform width of the frame is going to be 1.5 centimeters right so different ways that these kinds of questions can be structured so i wanted to give you two different scenarios